What's up, Set King? Stefan here from Sekrai. Today, we're going to be comparing the LG Stylo 6 to the new New Mobile G5. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. We have the LG Stylo 6 on the left and we have the new G5 on the right. Uh, before I start this video, definitely put in the comment section down below what device you think is going to win. But we're just going to compare some of the specifications, do a few tests on these devices, and I'm going to pretty much give you my opinion on which one I think is the better deal. So let's go ahead and start that off. All right, everyone, so first and foremost with the prices, the LG Stylo 6 released at $300 and the new mobile G5 actually released at only $160. So the new G5 is going to be half the price of the LG Stylo 6. So we're already off to a good start for the new mobile G5. Um, as you guys see right here, uh, the screens are actually pretty similar uh, in comparison as far as the size goes. Uh, starting off with display, we have a 1080p display on the LG Stylo 6, and that's going to be a 6.8 inch display, so a little bit bigger than the new Mobile G5. Uh, the new Mobile G5 is going to have a 720p display, so a little bit worse than the LG Stylo 6, uh, but we are going to have a 6.55 inch screen on the new Mobile G5, so a little bit smaller and a little bit lower resolution but I still think the displays look pretty good on both these devices. Now moving on to the hardware. Uh, as for the hardware on the LG Stylo 6, we have a MediaTek Helio P35 and we have four gigabytes of RAM on that device. And the hardware on the new mobile G5, uh, we're actually gonna have a MediaTek Helio A25, so a little less powerful. Uh, but we do have four gigabytes of RAM, which is great to see. Next, as far as our storage goes, we can expand our memory with the LG Stylo 6, and we actually have 64 gigabytes of internal storage um, on that device. On the new mobile G5, we actually have 64 gigabytes of internal storage as well, and we can expand our memory uh, via micro SD card as well, up to 256 gigabytes. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, going to the LG Stylo 6, uh, that device is going to actually have a 4,000 milliamp battery, uh, but the new mobile G5 is actually going to have a 5,000 milliamp battery, so a thousand more milliamps than the LG Stylo 6, and I think that's really cool being that this device is half the price. But these devices are also going to have Android 10.0 as their operating system. The other thing about these devices, as you guys can see, is we have a notch on the LG Stylo 6, but we have a hole punch uh, for a camera on the new Mobile G5, so we don't have any notches on the new Mobile G5, but the LG Stylo 6 is going to have a little bit of a bigger screen, as I said before, uh, but no notches on the new G5, which is great to see. All right, everyone, so getting into the rear-facing cameras, uh, we actually have a quad camera setup on the new Mobile G5 on the right side. Uh, and on the left side, we have a triple camera setup on the LG Stylo 6. Now for the triple camera setup, we're gonna have a 13 megapixel PDAF camera, we're gonna have a five megapixel ultra wide camera, and we're going to have a five megapixel depth info camera on the Stylo 6. Now moving over to the new mobile G5, we have our quad camera setup. Our main camera is going to be 16 megapixels. We're also going to have an eight megapixel ultra wide as our secondary. Our third camera is gonna be a two megapixel macro, and our fourth camera is going to be a two megapixel depth sensor. Um, we also have an LED flash on both these devices as well. And as you guys see, we have fingerprint sensors on both these devices. Honestly, I feel like the fingerprint sensors are the same speed and accuracy as well in my testing, so they're about the same. Also getting into video recording on both these devices, uh, both these devices, as far as the rear facing cameras go, are rated to record at 1080p at 30 FPS. So uh, both those devices record at those resolutions. We'll probably do a camera comparison later on just to show you guys the quality. Uh, but so far, uh, we're pretty much the same right here. All right, everyone, so moving into the software on both these devices, both these devices do have Android 10.0, which is great to see. Uh, so we don't have the latest software, but it's cool that we have 10.0. Now for the LG Stylo 6, we actually have a July 1st security patch. And on the new Mobile G5, I believe we have the June 25th security patch. So these are both really similar as far as the software experience goes. So yeah, both have the same software. Now, obviously the elephant in the room, the Stylo 6 is going to have a stylus in this device. Uh, and the new Mobile G5 definitely does not have a stylus. 
Uh, so you are going to be getting that benefit when picking up the Stylo 6. So yeah, that's definitely a big difference between those devices. And finally, getting into the benchmark scores on these devices. As you guys can see on the left side, we have the LG Stylo 6. Now we're gonna have a single core score of 171 and a multi-core score of 942. On the right side, we have the new Mobile G5. That's going to have a single core score of 140 and a multi-core score of 840. As you guys can see right here, the Stylo 6 beats the new G5 uh, just by a little bit. Honestly, this is kind of surprising. I thought the uh, Stylo 6 was going to do way better, um, but yeah. That is the benchmark scores for these devices. As far as the single core score goes on these devices, there is really nothing that we can compare because these devices are basically as budget as they get. Uh, going into the multi-core score right here, same thing. The closest uh, score we can compare a multi-core score to on both these devices is the Samsung Galaxy A50 because uh, we have a score of 1177 right there. And on the LG Stylo 6, we got a multi-score of 942, so about 100 and some odd points um, less than the Galaxy A50, and we have about almost 300 point difference uh, for the multi-core score on the new G5. Uh, but definitely tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Obviously, the new mobile G5 is going to be a very, very cheap phone at $159. And the Stylo 6 is going to be a $300 phone. So um, honestly, I feel like you get more bang for your buck when you get the new G5. Um, you do get some other features on the Stylo 6, such as the uh, stylus pen and a few other things um, that are a little bit more premium than the new G5. But honestly, I think you get more packed in uh, when you go for the new G5. So that is my opinion. If you guys have any other opinions, definitely state them in the comment section down below and definitely tell me who you think won. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you are not part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.